Welcome to Get Cooking in Cloud, where we share the best recipes to apply in your cloud kitchen. I am Priyanka, and in this episode, I am pleased to have Jen Person back with us to talk about another mobile app back in service solution. Good morning, Jen. Welcome back to Get Cooking in Cloud. Thanks, Priyanka. I'm super excited to share today's solution. I think it's a real winner. So last time you were on the show, you left us on a bit of a cliffhanger. You shared a mobile app back in service solution using Firebase, an app engine standard environment. My app, Priyanka's Kitchen, uses avatars and cloud storage for Firebase. I need a way to create thumbnail versions of larger images. I'll need to be able to download the full-size image, scale it, download the scaled version, and then write back to cloud storage. That means I will need to write to the file system. But so far, you didn't recommend the recipe for backend services that call native binaries, write to the file system, or make other system calls. I am really excited to see that solution today. That's right, Priyanka. In an earlier episode, I explained that Firebase solves a lot of the mobile app backend problems. And last episode, we saw that adding App Engine standard environment provides a backend service to modify the synchronized data, filling a gap in the Firebase only solution. But as you pointed out, App Engine standard environment cannot solve every problem. For your image thumbnail example, we definitely need a different solution. Are you ready to see it? Ah, uh, I am waiting with bated breath. Let's cook it up. So again, here's our recipe from the last episode. And here's today's recipe. That's right, in this design pattern, we still use Firebase for all its mobile app backend benefits. But instead of App Engine standard environment, we use App Engine flexible environment. I noticed that the ingredient here is the same App Engine. And this looks very similar to last episode's recipe, but it differs in an important way, right? Yes. Like App Engine Standard Environment, App Engine Flexible Environment is an app platform that monitors, updates, and scales the hosting environment. All you need to do is write your mobile backend service code. Those features are the same. Where App Engine Standard and Flexible Environment differ is that Flexible Environment runs your backend service inside a Docker container that you can configure. Exactly. And this means that you can call native binaries, write to the file system, and make other system calls. All the things you can't do in App Engine standard environment. So if your app needs to process user data or orchestrate events, extending Firebase with App Engine flexible environment gives you automatic real-time data synchronization without needing to run your code inside the App Engine sandbox. So this solution is obviously a bit more flexible, right? <laughs> yep. As the name implies, the App Engine flexible environment will give you more flexibility. This is a great solution for Firebase apps that need a backend service to modify the synchronized data. And that service requires a custom server configuration or third-party libraries that aren't supported by App Engine standard environment. Are there any other benefits to the flexible environment? There is one more. You may recall that the App Engine standard environment only holds a connection open for two minutes. Well, App Engine flexible environment can hold a connection open for 24 hours. So for example, you can use this architecture for backend services that require a persistent connection to Firebase to receive notifications of data changes. I can totally see how that would be useful. Definitely. And since you can write to the file system, you can use this recipe to generate thumbnails for Priyanka's kitchen. Well, that's all for today on Get Cooking in Cloud. Jen, thank you so much for coming on the show. If you would like to know more about today's recipe, you can check out the Firebase and App Engine guides, reference docs, the code samples on GitHub, and the Firebase YouTube channel. And if you like this video, then check out the other episodes in the series. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can be notified about new episodes of Get Cooking in Cloud, as well as other great Google Cloud content. Mm -hmm.